The man accused of killing a Toronto police officer three years ago is testifying at his trial today. Umar Zamir is charged with first-degree murder in the death of Detective Constable Jeffrey Northrup. He died after he was hit by a car while investigating a stabbing in a parking garage in July of 2021. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick joins us from outside the courthouse. So, Megan, what has the court heard from Zamir's testimony today? Well, the jury has heard very emotional testimony this morning, Andrew, as Zamir uh, recounted what happened that night and as he tearfully apologized for what happened. So the jury uh, hearing his version of events, um, Zamir describing how he and his wife and their young son, who was two years old at the time, and his wife was eight months pregnant at the time, how they had come downtown to take in Canada Day festivities. As they went to uh, head home in the underground parking garage underneath City Hall, uh, he says they were approached by two people who were officers Northrup and his partner Lisa Forbes. Uh, but uh, Zamir testifying that um, he and his wife did not know they were police officers. They were dressed in plain clothes that evening. Um, as you mentioned, they were investigating a stabbing nearby. Zamir testifying uh, that they were scared, that they thought maybe they were getting robbed, uh, that uh, uh, Forbes and uh, Northrup were uh, knocking on his window. He went to lock the doors and drive forward out of the parking spot when a van pulled up and blocked him in, an unmarked van. Turns out it was a police vehicle, but he did not know that at the time. That made him even more scared, he testified. Um, and he then reversed out of the parking spot and drove away. He said he did not hear anything. He says, uh, when asked if he felt anything, he said he recalls feeling what may have been a speed bump as he drove away. He drove towards the exit of the parking garage uh, where he was stopped by the exit gate. And he says he was then rammed from behind uh, by another vehicle. That was the police vehicle going after him. Uh, and a man then approached him on the driver's side with a gun drawn, ordering him to get out of the car. That officer was also not wearing a uniform. Uh, Zamir testifying he followed orders to lay down on the pavement uh, and he was handcuffed. Uh, he says that another man approached and punched him in the face. That was another police officer. He says at this point, they told him he had run over their partner and that they were police. He testified he told them he did not know they were police. He has testified repeatedly, Andrew, um, that uh, the police officers did not identify themselves while they were approaching him in his car, uh, that he did not see the police badges that they were wearing. He then, um, at one point, uh, he said when he was told that he had hit someone, that he was horrified. And when later he was brought to the police station and told that Northrop had passed away, he says he was horrified. Um, he says he thinks about that night all the time. When he thinks of Northrop's family, his heart bleeds, he testified. He said um, to the court, I didn't mean to hurt your dad. In reference to Northrop's children, he said, I'm so, so sorry. And he says he wished this never happened. And Megan, what else has the jury heard from other witnesses in this trial? Yeah, the trial's been going on a few weeks now. Uh, Zamir's wife has testified. Lisa Forbes, Northrop's partner, has testified, as, long, as well as two other police officers who were on scene that night, as well as two collision reconstruction experts. And the jury's heard conflicting accounts, Andrew, of what happened that night. The Crown's case is that Zamir... Uh, deliberately ran Northrop over and that the police officers had identified themselves. He tells the opposite story, saying he did not know they were police officers, they did not identify themselves, that they were scared, thinking they were getting robbed, and that's why uh, they drove away in their vehicle. Uh, so he is on the stand today, Zamir, for uh, the second time. He started testifying on Tuesday. There was no court yesterday. His testimony uh, continues today. It's sometimes rare for an accused to testify in his own defense in a murder trial. The onus is on the Crown to prove the case. He is now under cross-examination. That could last the rest of the day. Megan, thank you. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick, live in Toronto.